Hello, this is Nick, and welcome to part five of my entry to the Great Guitar Build-Off 2021. In this episode, I'm going to cover my method for grain filling, sanding again, and then staining the guitar. I'll show you how I put on the sanding sealer and the clear coating. I'll also show you fretting and finishing up the guitar. So normally I use uh, a water-based wood filler, um, which I buy from a guitar specialist. We had our house extended a couple of years ago. The chippies um, gave me a tip to use something called Jiprock uh, Easy Fill. I did try it once and it seemed to work. So I'm going to have a go and let's see how it works. I put some of this powder in this jam jar and it just mixes with water. So you can sort of see the consistency. I'm going to start off by adding black. And let's just see how this turns out. What I'm trying to achieve is to have a mahogany back look as if it's got fairly black speckles in it where the grain is. Um, but then a sort of an orangey brown colour because I think that will match quite well with what's going to go on in the, on the front. So I think the, the way that I'll try and do this is to start off by putting on some amber dye and then putting some orange over the top and my hope is that if I put the amber on first then it won't be too orangey and it'll be more sort of a browny orange than um, just a bright orange. So I'm going to put on some orange now and I'm going to do this before it's dry because um, I'd like to replace some of the amber with orange. So let's, let's see how this goes. see that that's 
quite nice. It's a sort of a browny orange colour. Sort of what I was looking for. it to look brown in the end but the brown should make a lot of contrast in the grain to show the flame uh, so what I'm gonna have to do now is to sand the top so that I just leave the stain in the grain and try and get rid of as much uh, of the stain out of the non flamed part of the wood and then the sides are going to be difficult because I don't want those to be dark at all. But I want to see if I can get some sort of tiger stripes coming out. Uh, so that's going to be quite difficult to do, but I think it's going to be really nice. sanded this down with some 600 grit paper using my um, orbital sander and uh, the, the brown came off quite nicely but I got a little bit too close to the edge um, in a couple of places just up here was one so um, I put a little bit of brown around the outside and, um, and I've just rubbed it down with some wire wool to give it a slightly darker edge. Um, and uh, I, I quite like this. I might, I might take off a little bit more, but I think the effect is quite nice now. You can see the grain coming through. Um, and then once I've got rid of the brown around the outside, the edges, I'll put some color on and uh, hopefully we'll start to see what the thing's gonna look like. I dyed the edges of the maple brown and you can see that they're very dark compared to the front. So what I'm doing is I'm now rubbing it back with some sandpaper. I don't know if you can see this. And I'm starting to get something like the effect that I was hoping for. I want to be able to see stripes around the outside and the contrast isn't quite as nice as I would have liked but maybe when I dye it it'll be better but you can sort of see the effect coming through
Right, it's time to spray my guitar. So, I'm going to spray with Sandling Sealer. Here's the body. So I've attached um, a stick so that I can hold it, build up the holes, use masking tape to cover areas that I don't want sprayed. So I've got to give it a final little wipe down and then I'll start spraying. The neck uh, is hanging up. So let's get going.